So I have a folder here that I labeled wedding and I'm just going to use a couple of photos from this album. Find the photo that you want to use and then click layers. Then choose create empty project. I'm going to create a thank you card that is 7 inches by 5 inches and I'll name the empty project 7 by 5 thank you card. I'll change the width and the height to 7 by 5 and I'll change the unit to inches and I'll make the background transparent and click OK. Once the project has been created, I'm going to come down to the bottom and click and drag my image over to the Layers column. I'll resize my image so that it fills the canvas and the placement is exactly where I want it to be. Then I'm going to duplicate the layer to create a copy. Right click on the layer to duplicate it. With my new layer copy highlighted, I'm going to come over to the Gradient tool. I'll set my opacity slider to 100 and change my foreground color to white and my background color to transparent, and I'll choose Linear Gradient. Then I'll just click on the left side of the canvas and click and hold and drag to the right to create a line. Once the line is created and it's still active, I can click onto it and move it around, or I can click onto the end of it and make it shorter or longer, which changes the length of the gradient. I can also change the blending mode, but I'm going to leave the blending mode on normal. I want the flowers to show through a little bit, so I'm going to change my opacity slider to 85%. Once I click onto any layer, the gradient will no longer be active, so the changes I've made are final. The only way to undo it would be to choose the Undo button at the top and start over, but I'm going to keep this selection. Now I'm going to add some text which I've already created and saved as an express template. So I'll come up to the top left to add a new layer and then I'm going to add an express template. I'll click onto my creations and double click the template that I created earlier called Wedding Thank You. I'm going to duplicate the dove layer and then select my pick and move tool. Then I'll Click onto the duplicate dove layer and resize it and make it bigger. I also want to flip it horizontally, so I'll come up here to the top and just click on the little triangle in the bottom right and I'll choose Flip Layer Horizontally. Then I'm going to click onto my top layer which contains the text I want to use, then choose my Select Area tool and make a rectangular selection around the lower half of the text. Then I'll select the Pick and Move tool and drag it to where I want to place it. Then I'll click Command D to deselect the selection. I want to move the top portion of text now, so I'll choose the Select Area tool again and do the same thing, making sure to click Command D to deselect the selection. I'm just going to resize the text one last time. I'm going to make another copy of the dove layer and move it to the bottom of the text and resize and rotate it. I'm also going to move it down a little bit.
Now I'll create a card using a vertical photo. I'll turn off both layers of my original image and then click and drag the vertical image that I want to use and I'm just going to place it underneath the dove layer. Then I'll resize it and move it over to the right of the canvas. This time, instead of adding a gradient, I'm going to make a selection based on the background of the image and create a new background out of it. So first, I'll duplicate the layer by right-clicking and choosing Duplicate. Now I'll right-click the layer and rename it to Image Copy. While I'm on the Image Copy layer, I'll go up and choose the Select Area tool and choose the rectangular selection and then make a small selection on the green background in the image. Then I'll select my Pick and Move tool and drag my selection over to the left side of the canvas. Then I'll click on the corner and resize it so that it fills the entire left side of the canvas. Then click Command D to deselect the selection. Now I'm going to change the text to white. I'll click onto my top text layer and then I'll select the Add New Layer icon and choose Add Solid Color Layer. I'll choose white and click OK. Then I'll click the View Available Layer Options icon and choose Apply Clipping Mask. Now I'll save the file and I can choose which type of extension to save it as. If I choose the PHI extension, the file will be saved along with all the layers. So I went ahead and saved it as both a PHI and a PNG file. If you'd like to download the overlays that I used in this tutorial, I'll include a link down below. Thanks for watching.